Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Goodwill Thrift Haul. But first, I'm gonna explain what this is about. This is a camo diva dress that I got for free in my last haul, but I forgot to include this beauty in the list of things that I got. So, full camo, got some sequins, little open back sequins thing going on. This is a size small, and actually looking at comps, I'm gonna list it for around $35. So, you know, I'm a small to small medium, just, you know, if you are in the market for something along these lines. Um, but I'm gonna do this haul wearing this dress. That's my punishment for forgetting it in the last haul. So, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kim, and I am a part-time reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. So today I have a thrift haul for you today from Goodwill. My average cost of goods is $4.92 on these 14 items. So I'm gonna jump right in. The first things I have are these Land's End boots. They're like fur, faux fur lined. They're new with tags, like no signs of wear. I paid six dollars. You know, the average cost of goods, I paid six dollars for these. Um, and when I was at comps, I decided to post them for 60. I did buy one other pair of shoes, also Land's End. Um, th these were, I think, a size eight and a half. I was thinking maybe they were from the same person, but they're not because they're totally different sizes. So this one is, yeah, an eight and a half wide. And these were a size 10. So definitely not the same person. So these kind of puffy slippers. A lot of the stuff I got this week was pretty wintry. So I know I'd be holding on to it for a while, but I paid three for these. And uh, when I, again, I looked at comps, they were 30, um, $30 is what I put them up for. They're in pretty much like new condition, um, you know, excellent used condition to like new, there's not really any signs of wear on the outside. On the inside, I feel like they've maybe been worn a couple of times, but in pretty good shape. So now I'm gonna move on to the clothes I got and show you what I have for those. Um, again, kind of a little more wintry, but that's okay. So these are not though. These are J. Jill size so eight petite. They have this jacquard floral print to them. Um, so I am gonna put these up for 30. Usually when I I'm putting items up and I'm giving you guys a price. I am pricing knowing that I'm probably gonna be doing some haggling. And so I'm pricing a little bit on the higher side just to allow me to be haggle friendly because that is sort of the norm, um, particularly on Poshmark, which is my primary site. So then I got this Nebraska Adidas uh, quarter half zip, half zip, uh, double extra large men's. Nebraska corn huskers. So I am a Texas Longhorn through and through. Um, these guys used to be back in the day when I was there, uh, one of our big 12 rivals, um, but that doesn't stop me from picking it up. Um, you know, I can love corn huskers too. Uh, but this jacket is in excellent condition. I, again, it's kind of not, did anybody even wear it? Is it like new kind of place? So I have this listed for 40. It has a kangaroo pouch in the front and then like a Velcro pocket like right here. Uh, I also have these Billabong men's board shorts in a size small, which for men's is on the smaller side, but I don't know, who doesn't like flamingos? So I got flamingos. I had these up for 25. They have a Velcro pocket in the back. And if you're going into summer, why not? Bellabong uh, has sold well for me. I think I've had two or three items from them and they have um, sold relatively quickly. So it felt like a reasonable pickup for me, even though it was a little bit more on the expensive side. I think these, my cost, of, average cost of goods makes them more expensive, but I think I paid uh, $3, about $3 for those. All right, then I have these Banana Republic cotton linen blend shorts. 
Uh, I do like those natural fibers going into the summer. These are men's large. I have this front tie. And they're very beachy. It reminds me of at the beach and you see the towels or flags. I don't know. It just feels very beachy and very timely. So I got those and have them listed for 30. And we're gonna cycle back into some clearly winter stuff. Um, but this is a White House Black Market puffer jacket. I believe this one is down. It's quilted. It does have a flaw and I even looked at it and saw it when I bought it and that is that it's missing the drawstring for the waist. So I don't know, best laid plans. So I did list it a little bit cheaper than I would have otherwise. Um, just because it has a lot of other details that I'll show you in a minute, but I posted it for 50. It has these buttons along the top that give it a little bling and seam here on the wrist strap. Um, it is also missing, you know, when you've got the kind of ties on the neckline, the other one is missing that little dangler at the end. Um, but the jacket itself doesn't have any holes or flaws and it is a size small. So if no one else buys it um, because of the missing waist, um, then I will probably just wear it. So, but I've got a while before probably that comes into play. So I'm going to show you the other really big winter thing I got. And that is this Columbia down jacket. Uh, the Grand Trek jacket, I believe, is this one. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you guys know I'm a sucker for purple. And this, again, is a size small. So there is a chance this will be mine. But uh, I am going to list it for 50 It does have the reflective uh, warmth, heat, whatever they call it. Um, and then it has the uh, 650 down in it. It has adjustable wrist and I think it has, it have thumb holes. Yep, has thumb holes. It's got pockets on the inside and it is hooded. So a nice jacket. Um, it was 10 and the Black White House Black Market was 750 is how much they actually cost. So those were two of the items that did bring up my overall cost of goods. All right, then I have a West Virginia a uh, long sleeve dry fit. It has a zipper here on the side. It says West Virginia on the back and it is a quarter zip. Again, excellent use condition. It's the school colors, blue and yellow. Um, and I don't know what it is about finding Big 12, right? Because they are a current Big 12 team. Um, so, you know, even though I'm not a mountaineer, I can still pick up their stuff. Um, and I have that one listed for, I just have my list here so I could tell you guys what I was listing for. I thought I'm listing for 25. Um, and that one is a men's medium. Okay, now we're getting to the pants portion of the haul. And I think there are five of those. So these are a new with tags, a pair of seven skinny jeans in a size 14. Um, skinny jeans don't necessarily sell the best for me all the time. But since they're new tags, a size 14, and had a lot of things going for them, I did uh, go ahead and pick them up. So they were originally $69. I have them posted for $40. And have had pretty good luck with the brand 7. So it felt like a good pickup for that $5 um, average. I think those were probably 6 um, individually. All right, then I picked up these, also new with tags, also size 14, which makes me wonder if these two pairs came in together, but they are a Rock and Republic pull-on straight leg jean. They are a mid-rise, and it says ultra slim through the hip, and straight leg opening. So it does have their slimming denim cure. They were $88 initially, and I have those posted for 50. I have the whiskering, uh, manufactured whiskering here and some fading of some of the details. 
All right, if you guys are finding this helpful or if you just love my dress, I would love it if you would like this video and hit subscribe. I do plan on continuing to make similar content um, that hopefully is helpful to you guys in knowing what to pick up and what is selling quickly. So I will have some what sold videos coming up as well. All right, so this is a cut from the cloth pair of cropped um, hemmed jeans in a size 12 and they're in excellent used condition. There were no flaws. They have the kind of fading and whiskering here and I have those posted for 35. All right. Oh, I am missing. Oh no, I have them. The other one's on my lap. I'm okay. Uh, all right. So two more. These are both men's. This is a J Crew. 484 um, is the style. So it is a slim uh, pair of pants and it is a 30 by 32 and it is corduroy. Um, I don't know why I'm such a sucker for corduroy, but I, I kind of am. I, I, it's a little more fall, so I know this might stick around a little bit, but um, I don't know. I, I dig corduroy and I think other people do too. So I did pick these up um they have one tiny little spot on the bottom uh that i realized after i got them home just this like tiny little something something um you know like a bleach but it's really small and then also this is where a tag had gone um so the little like threads from the tag are still kind of there or roughed up the corduroy a little bit so i did post these for Oh, I don't know. I see how much with the for 30. I think if they hadn't had any flaws, I would have done a little bit more. Um, but they do already have two likes and I just posted them yesterday. So I think other people do think that they're kind of cool too. All right. And the last thing I got is Vans. Uh, they're called the V76 skinny jean, but I will say they're a little bit more slim. Like when we get down here, that is not a super skinny. And when I looked up stock photo photos, it is not like a super skinny, skinny jean. Um, these are like perfectly broken in. They didn't have any flaws or anything wrong with them, but you can tell that they've been worn and they feel really, you know, nicely broken in. They're kind of a tan to light brown color and they are a size 32, 32. So those are all the pieces. I, I don't know, I didn't actually count, but almost as many men pieces as women's. I'm a little heavier on the women's, but I really do like picking up men's um, pieces. So when I went into Goodwill, I did scoot over into the men's section and spend a little bit of time there just because I would like to build up that part of my closet a little bit more. So I should have, by the time this video is posted, all of these things should be up. Some already are, um, again, including this beauty. Um, if you need it, it will be up there. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I hope, I hope that the brands I showed you are helpful to you and just kind of knowing uh, some of the things that I might pick up. And I look forward to doing somewhat sold videos that hopefully gets to link you back to this uh, because some of these things have already sold. So have a great day. And again, if you um, like this video, just hit like and subscribe for me and I will see you back here again. Thanks so much.